Ha! Ah, okay, okay, okay. Hello, hello, hello. Well, hello, hello, hello. Ah. Boy, howdy, is it ever Friday. Hellboy, is it Friday? Hellboy voice, yes. <laughs> you have to say it was so much less emotion a la this uh, iteration of him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hello Audrey, hello Ephemeral Mist, welcome to the Shark Stream, good to have you. I am joined once again for the Hel for the Helgeman boys by Molly. Hello Molly, yeah, it's been a hot minute. Yeah, yeah, hot minutes, yeah. <laughs> But yep. it's it's no longer hot minutes. It's now hot Friday. We're gonna go to straight hell. Hot boy, hell boy, hell boy, hot boy. Hot boy. Hot boy. Uh, hot boy? So before we get started, there's there's a number of things that have happened uh, in the interim between Hellboy streams that we have to talk about. Let me rustle rustle through my papers here. Let's see what <laughs> see what topics we have to talk about. <laughs> Oh, we got topics, huh? You see the trailer for Q Force? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get you. Don't make <laughs> me talk about this. <laughs> Shit. I've started tagging my streams uh, with LGBTQIA+. I feel like I have to talk about this to some extent. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Um, my first thought was <laughs> it was it was absolutely made for like. Uh, gay people over the age of 31. Mm hmm And I... Yeah, audio ERF, you just said it. What I was about to say was it definitely appeals to, like, older millennials who love drag race and probably aren't gay themselves. Oh, oh! And then, so... I was like, oh, David Harbour's- oh, he's gonna play the only straight guy on the team, and I know exactly- I know exactly what character they hired him to play, which oh, is yeah. the Grumble. Grumble, Grumble, these gays, how dare they be gay? I'm just- <clears throat> So, uh, this came up in discussion in a, uh, a Discord server I'm in. And it actually kind of led to, I don't know if I would call it an epiphany, really, but like I, I, I had a, I had a complex thought about it. I had, I had a, I had a bit of a think about it. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> in that, uh, so from what I'm, what I've been told, is that there are queer people who are involved in the creation of this show. Well, that depends. Like, what department? Fair, which is which is a fair thing to bring up, but like, I I was thinking about it. I'm just like, you know what? Even if this is something where it's just like even like the top echelons of, uh, there were a ton of queer people on staff animation, staff animation wise. So far, there must have been no guys. It's gonna be okay. So now I have to give a couple moments of my time to it. So <clears throat> here's here's my here's my radical thought. Right? Okay. Yes. It is okay for stuff that is made by queer people to maybe suck shit sometimes. <laughs> I know. It doesn't I, I all just, have to be fucking just, groundbreaking. <laughs> I just, this feels like family guy with gay people. And I mean, like, that's that's actually something that was, that was brought up. And I mean, like, okay, oh, no. so no, this was something that was brought up in the in the in the in the Discord server that I'm in, and I, I want to I want to go ahead and put it out here. We have only seen a trailer, um, and I'm judging it entirely based on that trailer. Maybe the actual full thing is fine, but here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? How many fucking shows have there been about a slovenly dad and his hot wife talking about how much he hates marriage? I just every Why? single one of the main cast, every single that one of the main cast that they showed us just mm -hmm. made me think of every single flamboyant gay parody character from every single adult cartoon ever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which is fair, but it's it's all at once now, and just like I'm tired. I understand, but at the same time, like there was a part of me, and I said this in the in the server kind of half jokingly. Why do the straights need a monopoly on bad media? No. <laughs> 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, it's not even out yet. Oh, There's only God. a trailer. We're gonna have okay. to see how that plays out. <laughs> here's, here's my last thought on this. Is like, yeah. so having hired gay people to work on the animation. That's just like uh, they're they were probably just hired to do short term cleanup and short term like in between animations. Because I mean, there's a lot of gay people who are straight out of college right now looking for a job. And that's the kind of job that they'll get, like, through online. And... Wait. I don't trust Titmouse. Oh, it was to... Titmouse! Why did I have a feeling it was by Titmouse? I... <sighs> the, again, Titmouse is owned by a straight guy. So... If this would have more merit as a created by gay people show, if the creators were gay people so if there's like gay writers and gay screenwriters and gay editors storyboard um, artists so on and so forth well story uh, again storyboard artist is like that's i okay <sighs> that one kind of dis- depends on the structure of like the show the it's, show's it's, not, like, it's not like it's not like it's not head of creation when you do like animation department so yeah like, the uh, gay per- it's it's like saying Subway. It's like saying Subway is gay positive because this gay person makes your sandwiches. <laughs> diversity like, win. A diversity win. A gay person made your sandwiches. This Subway. underpaid bisexual made your meatball sub. <laughs> So I can't say that Cube Force is a gay show outright if the people up top are not. The people making creative decisions are not. <laughs> With the subway metaphor, not metaphor, but like simile. <laughs> I don't know. That, I don't know if simile is is the right one. Here. Anyways, anyways, thank you for coming to our Cube Force stream. We're gonna play Hellboy now. We have to find the guy who did Hellboy's Hellboy's voice. We have to find the person who did Hellboy's voice in this game and ask him to do Hellboy says trans rights. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> okay. So we started right. kind of late today. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the reason we started late was because I got caught up playing Final Fantasy XIV, the critically acclaimed MMORPG with a free trial up to level 60. It includes the award-winning first expansion, Heaven's Word, and no restriction on playtime. No, you were just busy eating Butterfingers trying to get that <laughs> mount. I have that mount. I got that mount by eating Butterfingers. <laughs> I just wanted to make that joke, though. Surprise, like, surprise. Because... <laughs> no, like, I like late because you were eating so many fucking <laughs> Butterfingers. <laughs> I okay. Real talk. We bought so many fucking butterfingers for that fucking event. My, our no. apartment, because no. all of us play it. And also, we have uh, our friend, friend of the stream, Lucas, uh, who lives in Brazil, um, no. who couldn't do that event because I think it was a U.S. only thing. We got butterfingers for him too, so we could get him a code. <laughs> Oh my god. And we had to buy more after the fact because it turns out we bought some products that weren't eligible for the event. Oh my fucking god. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I had a friend keep me up until 2am last night because they really wanted to show me the Nier raid. Absolutely no idea what was going on. It was very poggers. That sounds like Nier. Just kind of at a base level. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on, but it seems very cool. <laughs> seems quite poggers. Quite poggers, chip chip cheerio. Okay. Yes, I, I do. I do have that mount. Episode five, <laughs> town. That's the only save file. Number fifteen, Burger King foot lettuce. I barely.
literally said that. In the that last thing you I want in your Burger King burger <laughs> <laughs> is a Burger you know King that? burger. Anyway, sorry. Did you know the kid who said that and made that video is a furry? That doesn't surprise me. Did you also know he has a rap album? <laughs> Natalie found that out looking into his content. Oh my god. Uh, I forget what we were doing. It's okay. I have the game facts. Oh, good. The guide that has been so <laughs> helpful so far. The guide that immediately says after episode five that there's like an issue with um, completing it. Oh. Some glitch with um, an item that you have to find. <sighs> this guy do be burping. Let's see. I like just so, finished playing Silent Hill Four. I've had I've had so many burping enemies like just in my ear already. I don't need more. Oh, Hellboy's meaty Hellback. God, how very, very sinewy hellback. He is sinewy. Like, he gets drawn sinewy as fuck. It's like, damn, let my man eat. It's, it's a lot of shapes at once. Like, it kind of looks like a, a cow skull to me. I can see it. Where, like, the, 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 the fucking space under his deltoids are, like, the eye... Eye holes. Yeah. His yeah. cloits and gloits. And it looks like there's nose holes in the middle. It just. I'd just be seeing it. Beep. So, do you have. Beep. Do you Beep. have your. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Do, do you have your gun at the moment? Uh, maybe. Hold on. Because. So, ah, fuck. Oh, no. I do not have my gun. Restart. Restart. Because <laughs> you want to keep that health. Uh. <laughs> All right. Episode Hellboy five. eats. It just, he doesn't like build up like, like, the way that Hellboy in this... The way that the version of Hellboy in this game builds up body mass is he just becomes rounder. Like, more spherical. <laughs> ball. Orb. Hellboy ball OC. Hell orb. <laughs> uh, okay. For some reason it's like saying... Uh, walk over to the other side of the grounds to a gate which was locked earlier. Open it and shoot any zombies you encounter, which Mr. doesn't even tell us if you pick up your gun or not. Well, I certainly don't have my gun. I can tell you that much. Yeah, so again, with the guide being misleading. Or maybe I just fucking missed something and I fucked up this whole playthrough. <laughs> no, I remember in the last area your gun, like, purposefully fell off of your person. That's true. So that it's happen. like it's like shoot the zombies. Oh, oh, save, 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 save. No, this is where I already saved. I got what is oh, that? Oh wait, you did get the music. That's the music sheet. You need I that. I can't use this here. Okay, so you don't have the game glitch that the guy mentions about that. Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> yeah. Thank so fucking goodness. To a gate which was locked earlier. Open it. Shoot zombies. Continue to clearing. So one thing that I, one one recent happening that I do want to talk about that is maybe a little bit more positive than Q-Force, um, the Sonic Symphony happened the other oh, yes. day, and it was a, oh, it was yeah. a wonderful day of positivity on my dashboard with everybody just talking about how fucking dope Sonic music is. Hell yes. Yeah, I saw people talking about that. I was busy when it was going on. I was working. So I was so upset. I kept getting calls during Crush 40 set. I was so angry. I... How well does Sonic music translate to symphony, though? So fucking good! 
<laughs> they did Crisis City from Sonic 06, and it was the most what? beautiful thing I'd ever heard in my life. Oh my god, I did get to go to Zelda Symphony in person. Oh shit. <laughs> you don't need the health yet. Do not pick it up. I don't know why the fuck it says shoot the zombies. Where the fuck is you supposed to pick up the gun? It's apparently you don't even have your own gun on you at any point in time. I'm shooting the zombies with my fists. Oh, that one's down. Shooting. Goodbye. I don't know if you're supposed to kill them all, but why did the discolored one go down a lot easier than these ones? These are like the these are like the beginning baby zombies. I admittedly de did get that guy in a bit of a stun lock against the wall, where I did like a lot more damage to him. These guys tend to block a lot. Oh fuck them! Zombies shouldn't know how to block. Zombies should only know two things: eat brain eat. and lie. Eat brain. eat brain and lie. Be bisexual. Eat, bra eat hot brain and lie. <laughs> Charge they phone. Be born after 1993. <laughs> but wait, this game takes place in the 60s! Shit! No wonder they can block. These are 60s zombies. They know what's up. Oh my god. Why is it taking so long? Uh, because I'm bothering to do this. I could probably just leave if I wanted to, honestly. I wonder. The cutscene zombie is able, dead, so... You've been able to, f like, skip entire fights. Because, again, like, this isn't a game with, like, EXP or anything. Think fuck. I can feel myself getting stronger. I think that would drive me nuts if a Hellboy game had EXP. same time, the idea of a Hellboy RPG does sound kind of cool, actually. It would only work if it Telltale was still in business. Like, honest to god, I'd thought about this for years. Telltale Cause... doesn't make RPGs. Wait. They Although did a Telltale Hellboy game... Borderland... They did Tales from the Borderlands. Because I know Borderlands is like partial RPG. Borderlands is like baseline gearbox. Wait, why did I, I say that that way? That. Anyway, no, it's it's Gearbox makes the Borderlands games. But I don't know, yes. I never played Tales from the Borderlands. Yeah, that's why I'm like, wait. Hellboy Paper Mario style RPG. So did they make... Okay, role playing... Okay, but that would be so cute. That would could be... work if it was like bitty bitty boy. And like all the other BPRD agents are like your party members. Ah, oh, fuck. Not these textures again. Oh. Oh, oh, is this the same fucking area? I don't... I think so? Hold on. It won't open from this side. Well, I'm not getting that health box anymore. You'll now be back in the underground passage of episode two. Follow it back to the place where you found four stones to put on three pillars. There I is a those. health. Oh, there's another health? Yeah. That's cool. Yes. However, the door there will not open, so get back to the elevator which leads up to the church. Okay. Okay. So I was talking about Paper Mario style Hellboy RPG in terms of like mechanics, but like in terms of like visual style, like yeah, okay, I'm also into that. Already yeah. kind of looks like a paper craft in this game. <laughs> you leave <laughs> his polygons alone. <laughs> My polygons. But God, I just I need to watch the the Sonic Symphony so that I can just see it in its entirety, honestly. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, fuck? I'm sorry? 
Wait. Oh my god. Oh no, no! Okay. Did, we didn't miss something, did we? Not that I remember. Oh god, I don't get it. Did you go too far? I'm wondering. Oh god. Door? Hello? Door? A door. door. <laughs> Screaming, hello! 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 Oh my god. Dang ol' Sonic Forces music making me cry. Hell yeah. <laughs> Sonic Forces mu music is awesome. I know this. That's why I had fucking infinite second bout playing in this playing in the pre-screen. Because Infinite's theme is one of the best character themes in all of Sonic history. This door has no knob or keyhole. Okay, so door oh. does not open anymore. Is there? Oh wait, that's the elevator. Okay, okay, jeez, okay. To the church. To the church. To the church. To the church. 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 To the church. To the church. To the church. To the church. I can't say it. Going up. Up periscope. Sonic Forces as a concept is just so good. Hold hands with Sonic. That's literally the dream. <laughs> True he, enough. Take my hand. Will set you free. Follow me. Set, set me, me free. free. Trust me, okay. we will escape from the city. From the city. Um, okay, so. And in, and in addition, together, we can show the world what we can do. You are next to me and I'm next to you, pushing on through until the battle's won. Now, can you guess what you have to do next? Yeah! Fucked up and evil church music. Fucked up and evil church moments. That's just the papacy. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Yeah, I'm not afraid to to take chances and take shots at the largest uh, religious. Uh, organization in the West. <laughs> I'm edgy. <laughs> What's this? Some kind of squiggle? Door. I thought Door. it was a oh. trumpet for a second, Is it but your no, gun? it's an amulet. No. <laughs> it's just an amulet. Okay. Let's see. Remember that ghost that just fucking shot up through the roof? Yeah, I remember that boss fight in the steampunk church you were supposed to fight, and then it just didn't happen at all. It just didn't fucking happen. Uh, did you ever like? Look up, did you ever look it up though? Like, no, I didn't. <laughs> okay, because it was supposed to be like four heads pop out of holes, and you have to hit them with the sword that you got. Mm. And you just got to skip that whole thing. Good. CDI Zelda voice. Good. Good. You ever just walk, walk up to a big church <laughs> organ in your boxers and start jamming? <laughs> Follow the path and open the wooden doors at the end. Hellboy do just kind of be rocking the tight shorts. It's the only thing that fits him. And even that is being generous. Well, that's the thing, is those are actually, like, giant basketball shorts. They just ride up that high. <laughs> Hellboy voice, stupid Nazis, I'm fucking ballin'. <laughs> ah, fuck! Jesus Christ. Well, remember, punch it to death. You punch this thing good now. If you can skip this, I swear Damn, to God. I can't. 
Nope. Nope. Can't skip it. You gotta punch it. All right. I can stun lock these guys though. Hell yeah. Hell boy. Ooh. Hell boy yeah. Hell booyah. So this might take us a bit. In the meantime, how have you been? It ha it has been a bit since you were on stream. It has been a bit. I've become busy on certain days. And I've had a lot of doctor appointments as well. So that ends up taking my time. Mm -hmm. Doctor's and appointments then, have that effect. Doctor's appointments. And then uh, just not wanting to do things at night syndrome. You mm -hmm. know how it is. I, I know how it is. You do be knowing how it is. Oh! Yeah! Punched Play. it to death. Ah, fuck. <laughs> the guide is still describing this as if you had the staff from the one boss battle that's supposed to just, like, one-hit KO everything. I think at some point I had the intention of, like going back and actually trying to find that and then I forgot. Yeah, like it's hidden pixel was somewhere. I hope that's not like a plot critical item because if can you imagine if I was able to get this far in the game without picking that up? I I wonder cuz I swear to god you better not need it for like the final boss. I'll probably just punch the final boss to death honestly. I think so. If previous encounters in this game have been have proven anything, one of two things will happen. One, I will stun lock and punch the boss to death. Two, the boss fight won't j just won't happen and I'll just win the game. <laughs> <laughs> Boy's fist is truly all powerful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so... okay, okay. So Jinx. Uh huh. You can now walk back to the asylum, but it is still locked. So enter the zombie town again. But... Okay. I don't know why it made you walk all the way back here. Is there a save point? I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's a fault of the game as opposed to a fault of the guide. Because I couldn't actually go back to the zombie town. Okay, no save point. No save point out here. Like I couldn't, like I couldn't backtrack to the zombie town from where I got the amulet. Mm -hmm. So this would have been the only path. That's a fault of the game and not the guide. So the, okay. fuck, the, the fucking guide is off the hook, but it's on thin ice. This guide needs to be amended for <laughs> game glitches and fucked up ability. This boss might not even load at all. You might just be able to skip it. So here's how to go to the next part. This playthrough has just been so good for just weird shit happening in the game. Like, oh, this yeah. game is not good. But I have to say, <laughs> it's got some primo weird shit happening, and I appreciate that. Like, like from, it's a, weird. <laughs> from a streamer point of view, it's... where it's like, I desperately need, like, weird shit to happen for the content, I appreciate it a lot. He... <laughs> this is so good for, like, you need, a, you need sort of a long haul, sort of involved, sort of unique game. And where weird shit will absolutely happen, especially if you're playing in emulation. Weird shit just might be baked into the fucking video game itself. Weird shit is baked into the Hellboy license. Oven fresh. You got a game that everybody says is bad, but then it turns out it's actually kind of good. And then you got a game that everyone says is bad, and it turns out it's it, bad doesn't even begin to cover it. <laughs> This game is, oh, if nothing God. else, maybe cursed. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> legitimately, legitimately might be. Because the differences in your copy and the differences in my copy 
have been driving me fucking nuts. Like, what? Up the wall, even. Because I know slight differences in game versions do exist, such as, uh, well, the only example I can think of is Ocarina of Time, where they edited out the, the stuff they got in trouble for. Mm hmm. And then there was a new version of the game released on hard copy. Mm -hmm. so, uh, but it's like, with this, why would there need to be new hard copies published? And also, how would there be time for that when this was a flop? Flop. Good old Fire Ooh. Temple music. Yep. I, I think I like the edited one, like, a lot better. Because, because, I do remember when me and my friend were playing Ocarina at four times and six times the normal speed, the version of the game that we emulated was the original version of Ocarina of Time. So, got to hear all that original Fire Temple music, and I was like, ah, yeah, I kind of like the edited one better. I mean, I would assume that, like, hey, if we're gonna, if we're gonna be replacing this music, we better replace it with a fucking banger. All right, God, what have you got? I mean, I don't actually know if like Fire Temple music is like a banger. I haven't gotten there in my Ocarina of Time playthrough just yet, <laughs> and it's been a hot minute since I've played Ocarina of Time. And when I played it, it was the 3D version. Oh wait, I thought you were at the fire te or water temple now. I just did the water temple the other day, yeah. Wait, but but you but how did you do the fire temple? Wait, you did the water temple before the fire temple? You can do that. I I know you can. I just. I'm so confused. Well, I got it out of the way. It was That was an important thing to do, is to not have to worry about doing the water temple later. Oh. It wasn't good. <laughs> it was kind of frustrating, actually, as the water temple is wont to be. Oh, yes. I Anytime I play Ocarina of Time all the way through, I, I can't do it without my... Oh, what is it? Prima official strategy guide. Mm hmm Racking my brain to try and remember if the hammer helps in the water temple. Um, I don't think so. Because I don't think you can use it when you're underwater. The only point to that would be to destroy clams. Hmm. Wait, you know, you can use the Megaton hammer to fight uh, Shadow Link. Oh. See, I just used Big Sword. Because as soon as I became Adult Link, my first my first goal was, I need Big Sword. <laughs> because I was, like, fucked up on Berserk Media at that time. I just, like, I want Big Sword now! <laughs> give, give me Big Sword. Wait, um, okay. So uh, I got uh, Big uh, Sword. I, Asylum, uh, oh, yeah, you, I'm, uh, I'm just uh, going to get the, uh, I'm um, just going to get the other <laughs> health box right now. There's... There's, uh, it says, one of the tree, on one of the trees is a note written by Peter. Read it by pressing action. On one of the Continue trees. along until you reach the underground passage again. Follow the passage and Hellboy will jump into a portal. Oh. So, note, note on a tree, underground passage again, follow the passage. Okay, okay. Because I can meander on about... Ocarina of Time for a while, so I didn't want to. Uh, Audrey's asking was uh, if your guide was the one that narrated, narrated it like it was a big epic adventure instead of being straightforward about the instructions. Well, <laughs> one second. <laughs> Let me scooch my chair hmm. over on my bookcase. Granted, my headphones cord is long enough. It's not long enough. What tree could it be talking about? Also, these zombies respawn, which I'm not a fan of. Fuck! There it is. Okay. 
Okay. You okay. good? Okay, I have it. Okay. Uh. Oh, I was wrong. This isn't Prima. This is Brady oh, Games. Ah, yes. Brady Games. It has the really cool Oh my cover. god. I'm sorry. We need to talk about this a moment. I don't feel safe with it. It was this tree that has the note on it. Do you notice anything about this tree? That it doesn't even look like a fucking tree? No, that it doesn't look like there's a note on it. I managed to be looking at it at just the right way. That... <laughs> Hold on, so... That looks like a pole. It, it is a tree, but... You can only see the note on it if you're looking at it, like, like because of the texture clipping. Do you see it? Do you see it? Oh did you see god! It there? But as you get I closer, did, it's like... not there anymore. Oh god! Uh, <laughs> game, game breaking immersion. Oh my immersion. Oh. Uh... You know what one of my, my prized possessions is? Lit. I have a Nintendo Power Guide for Star Fox Assault. Oh. There's actually a, like a family-owned game store that I go to all the time, and they just... Well, now they've got new inventory mm -hmm. of, of just game guides, like, that people bring in and sell, and I... I fucking Dude, they bring that. in shit from, like... They bring in shit from like the '80s when game guides were a fucking book, <laughs> and, and I'm like, I want to look at all this shit, but I'm looking at CDs today. I will say that one of the things that like, because me and Natalie will occasionally uh, go to like game stores and stuff and like take a take a look at their inventory, and we also look at like the game guides and stuff to see like, is there anything that we want? Um, we found this this like mini version of a game guide for uh fuck me what was it um tomb raider angel of darkness mm -hmm. and it was just like look how small this guide is it is so tiny no, yeah, because uh, they used to just publish game guides all the way full, but it had to take up, like, f four pages. Mm -hmm. It's like, damn. That's that's champion of magazine writing right there. Yeah, God, I think I had every issue of Nintendo Power up until they uh, stopped publishing. Damn. Well, and now that staff is, like... Uh, a podcast. And yeah, they Nintendo Power is a podcast do... now, which I think is neat. I think that's a, that, I think that's a neat evolution of that brand. It's just there's no more f like little fan art page you can flip to. That does suck. In the looks yeah. of I'd say Callan's portal is open. Maybe I can do something about it. Yeah, and this game store near me. Sarah. They Hello, also just there. straight up sell issues of Nintendo Power. Hellboy! Sarah. 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 <laughs> Whoop! Oh, but this one's ah! red, though. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Episode 6. Ah, oh, shit. Yay! I didn't expect it to be that quick. I, as I said, all right, <laughs> are you ready? Because this is the final episode. Unless I have like a lot of trouble on this, this might be a short stream. <laughs> the thing is, it's, this is like a very concise paragraph of description in the guide. I see. <sighs> so. Am I gonna eat shit? Oh, yep. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Holy shit. What are these? <laughs> okay. Okay. That was funny on purpose. <laughs> Hold on. 
<laughs> just seeing this big fucking Cthuloid over here and being like, oh, it's okay. one of these. Pause, 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 pause. 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 Okay. Let, let's see, let's see. Okay. Uh, judging from the horns which grew back, you are in hell. Follow the path to the first talon. Closely watch the cycle in which it hammers on the ground. It hammers twice, waits a short while, hammers again. Waits a bit longer, then it starts over. Run underneath the talon when it is safe, and run along to the left. Okay. You will encounter a creature from hell which looks remarkably similar to the zombies which you have seen before. So wow. use your fist to defeat it. Fist. So Oh god, it tells you to select the fucking staff. Oh no. Yeah. Uh -oh. Select the uh -oh. staff and do what? <laughs> select oh, no. the staff and do what, Molly? <laughs> what do we Press do with action. the staff? Press action to insert it in the pentagram on the floor. This will paralyze the first talent and allow you to move along the path. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh god. Well, let's see how well this goes. Uh, uh, uh. It's just a red zombie. It sure is. Oh no. So this is gonna get really weird for us really quickly. Oh god. Oh god, you do need the fucking staff. How is this gonna work? Let's find out. Together. Oh, man. They don't even give you your gun! Too bullshit. Oh, God and Jesus and Mary, baby Jesus. <laughs> I swear to god, if you have to backtrack all the way to the other episodes and find the invisible staff. <laughs> yeah, just punch it right in its tentacle shit. That might work. You gotta try everything. Cause who knows what the fuck is gonna bug this game out or not. This is making a noise. Now, if there was like a rotatable camera, or if you could go in first person mode and like look at the boss, that would be cool. It do kinda look cool. It do look kinda it cool do, though. It do look kinda cool. I swear to god, if this fucking works. I don't think it's gonna work, but god damn it, we're gonna I, try. I don't think it's doing anything either, but gotta try. And if we have to go back, guess what? That's content, baby! <laughs> Which, does that mean you have to do the Kalen boss fight all over again? Probably. Oh. Mm, hold on. Yes, hashtag content indeed. <laughs> I'm gonna try something here. What happens if I... 
So there's a zombie at each of these pentagrams, right? What if I just beat the shit out of each one of them? Would that do anything to you? Think? I... I wonder... Oop. Oh fuck, these zombies can teleport. They're too strong. I I also wonder again if like <laughs> uh weird different versions of the game, like is there one without Ooh. the Ow. the um Ow. one without the staff at all as a pick up pick upable item? Ow. Because Ow. It's it's completely bizarre. Ow. It's completely bizarre to me that Oh, it's not that um it's a requirement to backtrack. It's the fact that the item just didn't fucking show up after the boss battle was done and it was Ow. supposed to. Ow. And you were supposed to carry that staff up Ow. until this Ow. point. Ow. <laughs> I love how it's just not attacking you. Would an old video game really make you backtrack really far to get important? <laughs> yeah, I wanna I wanna point out, we were able to leave that level without getting the staff. The game exactly. let us do that. Which just makes me wonder, is there a version of the video game? Oh. Fuck. Oh shit. Oh. Fuck. Invisible wall! Hold on. No! <laughs> Fuck. 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 There he goes. Ba 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 da ba. Beep. Hmm. So where was the staff again? <laughs> it was... It's supposed to be right there for you to pick up after you defeat the Kalen guy. But which... which like, which episode? It was... After all the tunnel shit. So... Hold on. I'm assuming it was the sewer. It was... It's the end of episode four. Okay. So thankfully, with my incredible powers of foresight, we have been rotating our saves. So Who knew? So we're gonna give this a <laughs> shot. This save was 15 minutes before we got to the town level. And the save yes. point in that. So... With any luck... Provided that we can figure out where the hell it drops us, and where what the hell we do from there, maybe, just maybe. That was an impressive note I just hit. What the hell? <laughs> oh fuck! Oh Jesus! Oh, I forgot God. about this oh, thing. Jesus shit! Shit! God. Shit! Oh hey, I have my, I have my gun again. I have a begum again. Um. Okay, hold on. I know you immediately you immediately lose your gun as soon as you jump into here. Did I already do the thing that stops this in this save? Oh, Jesus, I hope so. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, Hellboy ground beef. Oh, cool, I did. Oh, thank fuck. There he goes, you gone! I have such incredible foresight. Damn, lost my pistol. Okay. Open the door, ahead. The one on the right is locked. Walk along to find Sarah. Or is it Caleb? Oh, that's right. I just got I just got I just got a very strong Oh. Did we lose Molly? You still there? Oh, 
Hello. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what? What did you hear me say last? I heard. I just got a very strong. <laughs> it said. I just got a very strong craving for malted milk balls. <laughs> <laughs> that was not how I expected that sentence was going to end. I was expecting you were going to come back and be like, I got a strong sense of deja vu because haha, funny joke, we just did this. But no, multi milk balls, I guess. <laughs> Can this go in the highlights reel? Somebody clip that, please, <laughs> so that I can find that later. <laughs> Sarah. <sighs> Sarah. I am not me anymore. Our shadow is... Sarah looking about as good oh. as Le as Squall Leonhardt in base ready. Final Fantasy VIII. And this There's time I cannot person be here. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Sarah Canis TF. <laughs> what the hell was that? Okay, do you remember I how to do this him boss again. fight? Uh, it's time to fucking now, find die. out. He shoots you with a ball, and you have to punch him when he stands still. And okay. he trans he transports. Damn. I I remember this took like fucking forever. Damn. Because of this. Oh boy. I have died. Oh boy, hell boy. Oh boy, hell boy. Damn, those things do some damage, huh? <laughs> Damn, those invisible fireballs do be. <laughs> They weren't kidding. <laughs> okay, so if I remember right, what I have to do is I have to stand on one side of the room because depending on what side of the room I'm standing on, he appears on the other side of the room. I have to delay slightly running over to the other side of the room so that he still spawns on that side of the room, but he doesn't shoot the fireball by the time I get over there. Yeah. The fucking graphic for the fireball doesn't even show up. He just... Have the impression that there's a fireball and you've lost health. Getting some strong fireball vibes from this. Getting some strong fireball intentions here. Well, at least this stream won't end particularly quickly. <laughs> oh shit, that's right. <laughs> Still took damage from that guy. <laughs> That's fucked up. That's like the save point. I suppose I could right try and kill that thing, but nah. It's it still gets like a a, a head start in attacking you as soon as you load in. It's not fucking fair. It super isn't. It's just not fair. <laughs> Still just, funny. <laughs> oh, how, just the framing, the how, how zoomed out it is, and how he's a giant red dot on the screen. A large red mass. Let's make fucking Sarah. go. Can I skip cutscenes in this? No. Damn it. Damn. Not me anymore. Not here. Our shadow Damn. is caressing Not me. here. Huh? Huh? I have come to your world to make uh? You know what one of the songs that I and had to miss because I, I got a call during stopped. the Crush 40 set was? Was it a Shadow the Hedgehog song? It was I am all of me. Ah! I was Damn so it. mad. <laughs> What the hell was that? Damn it. 
Do they actually show up live without ever seeing him again? Uh, n no, I don't. Well, so, uh, Johnny, the lead singer, was very clearly singing from, like, a booth elsewhere. Mm hmm. Mysterious otherworldly booth. Oh my god, there was the fireball! What the hell? Okay. God. Just oh, for damn. one swift kick. Just for one swift kick in the face. He like dabs on me before he shoots the fireball. Oh, he kind of does. Oh, fuck. It looks like a fucking dab. Let's go. Is that four hits? All right, I got a couple Five, in on that six. one. Oh god, can I make this? Yeah, I got him. Alright. I'm gonna keep this on me. Got him. Nine. That enough? I guess so. Okay. Oh, okay. Who's ready for fucking pixel hunting? Where's the staff? You should not have any trouble killing him this way. Grab his staff in the mi- Oh boy. Hell boy. Hell boy. This looks like a shaft. What? Damn it! I thought it said staff! This looks more like a Soviet computer box. Soviet computer box. Hmm, I don't know what to do with this. Fucking same. You bang on it with big fist. You know what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to look up. Let's give me one second. Mm hmm. Hellboy dogs. Uh, wait, my, why am I not typing anything? Oh, because my keyboard isn't on. Of course. Hellboy dogs. No, okay. It doesn't want to connect to Bluetooth. I understand. I wouldn't want to connect to Bluetooth either. Hellboy dogs of the night playthrough. If anybody heard that fucking Windows 10 chime, that was that was me. That wasn't your computer. It was me. Oop. Come on. Come on, Firefox. You can do it. All right. Come Hellboy on, Dogs of the Night 2000 PC gameplay 4K 2160p Windows 10. Walkthrough complete. Uh, wow, it's really taking its time here. Goodness. Because if I can, if I can pull up this boss fight in a Dogs of the Night uh, playthrough, then at the very least, that should afford me some information on where roundabouts the staff should be. Oh boy. Hell, boy. Boy. No, I do not want episode 5. I would like episode 4. Episode 5 is not actually that bad. Alright, let's see here. So let's... Mute, because I do not need sound for this. Just need those sweet, sweet visuals. Nope. It's time to look up YouTube videos, cause we don't know where the fuck the thing is. If playback doesn't begin shortly, try restarting your device. Bleh. Okay. 
You know what? I'll look it up on my phone. Fine. I don't care. <laughs> Do I look like I care? Fine. Fine. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, my Whatever. Dude did. Thou payest not mine, sub. That's a Google ad. No, don't show me recipes for rainbow cake. I don't want that. And furthermore, do not oh add food coloring to my shopping list. What's up? <laughs> oh dear. Do you have the YouTubes with the ads? On my phone, I do. On my phone, I do. If you would like to stop having the phone with the ads, with the YouTube and the ads on the phone, uh, I can help with that. Okay, so according to what I'm seeing here, in the PC version, not only is he supposed to be holding the staff, but there mm -hmm. is supposed to be a visual indicator when he teleports. Uh, oh. Nah, here he just, like, chills out. He's gone. God, the PC so... version just looks better. That's what I was saying! I'm so glad I chose the one that looks like shit for this playthrough. Like, genuinely so. Okay, uh, I didn't have a link to an ISO to the PC game uh, until after we started playing this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, it should be... If I'm looking at this right, should be hereabouts. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hell boy. Oh boy. He's just standing there. Menacingly. Get out of there, SpongeBob. There is no Q&A for this on GameFAQs. Nope. Hmm. Okay, here's what also throws me off, is in my version, which was also a console version of the game, there was clearly a staff, and I picked up a staff. See, the problem, the problem that I'm having is, is that there really aren't a lot of playthroughs of the PS1 version of this game, which makes it really mm. hard for me to find, like, Asylum Seeker. Okay. Is this the PS1 version? Hold on. 
I'm I trying to I'm, this. I'm trying to determine if the video I'm watching is the PS1 version or if it is just the PC version again. I think it's the PC version. Shit. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Come on. Well, do the graphics look better? Okay, let's try this one. Gages looking up videos on the internet. I need... I just... This is frustrating, to say the least. It's... Because <laughs> it, it could be... It, if I pull up any one of these, it could be one of two things. It could be the PC version, or it could be, like, the PS1 version running on an emulator that makes it look good. <laughs> like... What is this? Is this the PC version? I think this is the PC version. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Cause this guy has the staff. God. Is it five? Episode three. No. Damn it. <laughs> this is so frustrating. <laughs> Damn it. PSX. Let me see if that helps at all. Or if I'm P -P just gonna... PSX. Because the other thing is that, like, occasionally, like, you'll get people that are like, oh, here's, uh... here's gameplay of it and then it's like just 10 minutes just them playing to like 10 minutes of it okay this yeah guy, there's not a lot to refer to this guy's playing the ps1 version i think this is the same guy that like i was looking at his content before when i got stuck Okay, so here's him fighting this dude. Okay, he fights him. He fights him. He fights him. He's backing up. Backing it up. Backing it on up. Backing up. Packing up. Okay. It's dead on the floor. There is no staff in sight. We're so close. Okay, so hold on. Then. How does he do the final boss? One second, let me... Just go straight to that part. I am. <laughs> okay, so he's at the final boss. So here's a quick spoiler Wait. for you. Yeah. There's no staff in this game. What? 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 There's this version of the game does not yeah. have a staff. And now, oh my god, I, Gage McSharkman, will show you how to beat Hellboy Asylum Seeker for the PS One. Please to enjoy. That's what I 
I, I, I thought, uh, I was just guessing. Oh my God. Please. There is to no enjoy. staff. There is no spoon. There is no staff. There is no spoon. Do not try and beat the game. That is impossible. Instead, only God. try to realize the truth. There is no staff. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Note on the tree, unless you hit the save button afterwards. I After don't, reading the mysterious note. I don't think I did, so we're gonna go do that now. Because who even knows if that's required to complete the game? Maybe. Who Maybe. Can say? Who can say? Okay, now I'm really curious because how the fuck do you finish this game without the little staff? And also, why was a staff added in to the game? Was it added in before or after somebody found a hiccup? So I'm going to tell you this just right now. The staff is in the PC version. Oh, well, that's just great. <laughs> It is. <laughs> I don't know what that voice was. It is. Bear, bear with me. Bear with me. I'm just as confused as you are. It is not in the PS1 version of the game. Okay. <laughs> oh. And I'll tell you this much. Of the stratagems that I was using for the final boss when we were there the first time, I will say, I was kind of on the right track with one of them. Okay. And I will show you, when we get there, in what way I was on the right track. Please to be showing me how to finish the Hell's Boy game. I would like to thank uh, YouTuber Failmore for being apparently the only other person in the world who has played through this game in its entirety on on YouTube. Yay! I don't know anything Yay. about you. You could be an asshole. You could be a genuinely great person. But if you there's one thing, kids now. if there is one thing that I am appreciative of you for, at the very least. It's the fact that your playthrough helped me see what I needed to do in my playthrough. Opened your eyes, your shark eyes. Open your heart. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. From the looks of things, I'd say Callum. We're going to finish this. Maybe I can do something about it if I hurry. We're going to do it. This little sojourn Ooh, did help there. me extend the stream time a bit, which, I mean, you hey, know. <laughs> Sarah. I was fully expecting some dumb shit to happen where you did have to backtrack to the boss, hit, hit an invisible pixel, and then do what we just did today all over again. Which, to say, was not, you know, a whole lot, because episode five was short. Mm-hmm. For sure, for sure. Which is which is good. Like the meat of the game was, and I guess in the sewers part and the asylum, which is, you know, as it should be. And the toilet. <laughs> and the toilet. Which, lest lest anyone forget, is the entire reason we were playing this game in the first place. <laughs> I showed that I showed the clip to another friend and <laughs> it every time it gets such a good reaction I'm so happy <laughs> oh my god it is so worth it I, I was so afraid that we'd have to trudge through a very boring uneventful game and we would mostly have to make up our own quips along the way <laughs> But no! No! 
thank God this game is so broken. <laughs> thank God for the broken PSX version. Hello, you beautiful oh, creature. One of these. No, oh, one of these. Oh my god, the person who wrote this guide left his email. Hold on. I'm getting us out of here. Dear guide writer, fuck you! Fuck your fuck. cartoon cot dog husband! And fuck his sunglasses! <laughs> And fuck and the ketchup kids! Ketchup kids! <laughs> and fuck their sunglasses! Uh, oh shit, I wasn't looking at the chat at all. I'm sorry. The shit percent. Okay, Gage, please educate us all. Please tell us what happens with no staff. So you gotta beat up all the zombies. Are you serious? There is a bridge leading to Sarah, and there are four sections to the bridge. There are four little pentagram points, and each one has a zombie that spawns. You have to beat up all the zombies, and if every time you beat up a zombie, one of the pieces of the bridge raises up. Oh. I was Wait, watching- Wait, but you couldn't- Wait, but that one corner, you were like, stuck behind, you know, a hitbox. Yeah, you have to really not try to um, backtrack to other points, ever. Just don't do it. Because <laughs> then you'll oh. get all fucked up. But yeah, I was watching that YouTube- Okay! I was watching that video on YouTube and I noticed like, Oh, hey, that bridge is, seems to be going up every time he kills a zombie. So I'm just like, oh shit. And it was showing in that person's recording? Yes, um, he turned to the bridge occasionally every time he beat up a zombie and more of the bridge was raised. So there wasn't, like, a cutscene? There wasn't a cutscene, no. There's nothing indicating okay. that you've successfully raised a piece of the bridge every time you beat up a single zombie. Oh. <laughs> but once we get to the other side of this lava pool, I will be able to show it off a little bit more. Okay, let me get this right. So, the PC port was definitely after the console version. No, the PC port was first. The PC port was first. Okay, then... So, does that mean... Does that mean that they dumbed the game down? They removed content to make it fit on the PSX disc. So, as you can see, there's two sections of the bridge that are still down there. So, let's beat up this zombie. Okay, they removed content. It's like, this This is a point in time in which you could contact people who made a game obscurely, like, 20 years ago. And be like, hey man, what? Why you do this? That'd be a fun thing to do. I wish I had the clout to do something like that. <laughs> Do you okay. even need clout? Sometimes wait, people will just wait, answer emails. Wait. Oh. oh there yeah. we go. So now we just One gotta. One more. Oh. Hello. One, two, three, four, and go. That fucking noise. Is that super loud on your end? A little bit. Uh, Don't like it. It sounds like that's the loudest sound effect in the entire game. It's pretty obnoxious. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> the last one is. I can't believe. The last one. We went through. We're at the end. So much of this game, just like the last couple levels, and the fucking guy keeps talking about like some staff. It's just like, what staff? I guess we don't need the staff. And then we got to this point, and it's like, oh god, we need the staff. And then we go back and we find out, oh, never mind. There's no staff. There so was no staff. Cares? All right. So with that, bridge is fully raised. Da, 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 so da, da. we go over I was, to Sarah. I was so af I was so afraid you were going happening? to hit a hitbox. Yeah, sure. what the fuck is happening? It's a good question. 
Oh. Not sure, but we have to get out of here. I think I know. He thinks he knows. Oh, do you? Uh. Oh. Huh? Beg pardon? Come again? Wanna run that by me one more time? Uh. Oh. Huh? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Ow! I could do without the falling. So, wait, how did they get out? It's not so much the But they falling, fell down the into a pit. Hellboy. <laughs> the bureau to send someone for <laughs> Why did that make me laugh? What he must have seen. What was all that? Um, about? The twin brothers and the amulet and those things. What did the amulet the do? You, you picked it up. We won't have to worry about this whole thing for another 666 years. I Uh sorry. I guess I won't have to worry about it till then. Come on, let's get out of this place. Haha, <laughs> I'm functionally immortal. This is really the- that was really the- 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 oh. <laughs> oh my god, Thank that you, was Cryo it! Thank you, Cryo Studios North America! Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> Yay! What good game design! Oh, thank you! Accolades! Accolades! Woo! Dialogue revised. Dialogue revised by Mike Mignola. Which means so that somebody wrote it, sent sent it to Mike Mignola, and he was just like, "What the fuck is this shit?" <laughs> I had to fix. Okay, so it's only humorous because he fixed it. It seems like that's the case. Yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot of repeat names. Very small team. Tools and engine, Windows programming. Only oh, 10 people. Quality assurance. One guy. No. Where's, <laughs> where's the voices? Uh. Oh. So how are we feeling about? So that was Hellboy Asylum Seeker. Yay! There's no more Hellboy games. That's it. That's it. That's it. I mean, I guess I could get like Brawlhalla if I really wanted to. There, there's also like a, a a short story, quote unquote, thing during Hellboy's Injustice Two appearance, but it it's like exactly the same as a comic book thing. Mm -hmm. So it's nothing new. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Wow, that just, was it. it just kicks us right back to the fucking tile screen. So that's it for Hellboy Asylum Seeker. I don't know if we want to try and find something else to do. Because we've only we, have, we barely hit an hour and a half after all that. I I was thinking that's how much time it was gonna take. Or actually I thought it was gonna be less than an hour to finish. Because mm -hmm. I, I knew you didn't have much left. Yeah, yeah. But I, I got worried there for a second because I honestly got think thought that you did have to do some backtracking. Which because we had to do backtracking before. Which honestly okay. wouldn't have been a whole lot of backtracking, realistically. Exactly. exactly. Like it it if anything, like if we had if there had been a staff and we had found it, that would have added maybe like another fifteen minutes. Uh, based on, mm -hmm. like, the time between when we saved before that boss fight and uh, when we sa first saved in the town. So it wouldn't have been, like, really a whole lot of work to do. Uh, Molly, how are we feeling about Hellboy Asylum Seekums? I... We finished it. I never finished it on my own. I had only seen somebody else play through it but again i must have seen the guy that you watched who had the staff and i think that mixed up my own memories of the game mm -hmm. and that's why i was so adamant like you need the staff gauge you need the staff so what we're seeing here 
is that the PSX and the PC versions of Hellboy, Dogs of the Night, slash Asylum Seeker is a real-world application of the Mandela Effect. <laughs> that and my fucking stupid brain helps it a lot. Hellboy, the Mandela Effect. Uh, oh, here's, that would actually be kind of a cool idea for a Hellboy storyline. Oh, it's happened a few times. Um, hold on a second, because there's a little bit of interesting lore oh, yeah. in the game development in the game facts. Mm -hmm. Section 4.2, developer. One of the developers of the Hellboy game has written me an email which clears up many things. I've hmm. snipped a few bits out. But here is most of the email I got from Mr. Strange. Yeah. I thought, I thought I'd give him a few insights into exactly what we were thinking about various bits. The first one, difficult fighting. Yeah. Uh, let's see. There were some places where we expected folks to fight and some places where we expected them to run. After reading your FAQ, it became clear to me that these distinctions were not clear. Really? Example, <laughs> For example, you are not supposed to fight the small Canis after you exit the church. I hope you didn't try to fight him more than once or twice. Because that fight is essentially impossible. So the one that I had to do in order for the next cutscene to play, you mean? <laughs> the one that you had to punch the shit out of that you stunlocked in the first place. Okay. Mm -hmm. so on, the, on the other hand, you did not mention the quick way to defeat the giant Canis at the top of the tower. I didn't even know that's what that was. Is that what that was? I thought it was, I thought it was just a baby-faced freak monster. So, quick way to defeat the giant Canis at the top of the tower, which is to hit him and then run around to his back and strike a large hump there. Perhaps you used that strategy and simply did not write it up? If you fought him the hard way, you did quite a bit of extra work. God. <laughs> if only uh, there were ways to make it seem like uh, that was what you were supposed to do. Either through cinematography and or dialogue. Just, just, uh, just a little something, just a little something, something. Okay. Let's so, see. I gotta say, I didn't have a whole lot of trouble fighting that dog, or fighting the big Canis on the top of the tower. So I have to assume that there was some major revisions made to the game, uh, for the PSX version. Probably because the, I would assume, like, there were playtesters, or, like, people who played the original game, that were like, hey... Maybe change this bit. <laughs> or they just ignored that. Or they that do be happy. Let's see. There's there's twelve apparently like bullet points of mm -hmm. fun fact. And you know, this is the only game facts review and of Hellboy Asylum Seeker on Game Facts. So uh, I mean I don't have to sit here and read all twelve, but one of them Number five is, I was pleased that you figure out the get the small canis trapped between the tree and the wall trick. We use that all the time. So <laughs> that, you, you did pick up on that. Okay, okay. Let's see. I should fucking Fun fact. Like guide for this. God. <laughs> it would. I think it would be easy. You just go back through our footage. Yeah. Here, you will face down an orderly with a gun. Um, go into this with as much health as possible because there is no way to dodge his bullets and you're just going to have to tank it until you can get close enough to beat the shit out of him. You're just going to have to beef the shit out of it. Just beef it, dude. If you go into this with anything less than 80% health, you're going to want to load an earlier save because you're fucked. <laughs> you're going to do this a lot of times in a row. <laughs> Now, this next box may or may not appear. It's a bit left up to the RNG. But should you be lucky enough that it doesn't actually activate, you can just fucking leave. You can just leave. You can leave. Just go. Just go. Get out. 
All right. So what about what else Molten we got? What else helpless. we got for lore? Let's see. Uh, the man who the man you see who always runs through locked doors in the old monastery and who eventually turns into the giant snake demon. I thought it was a dragon. Is the Inquisitor? That didn't seem to be clear in your FAQ, and to be fair, it wasn't at all clear in the game. <laughs> well, well, I played a plenty video game, so I know when a man that keep showing up in levels, I do be recognizing that future boss. But that was also the guy that was supposed to be the boss fight that just didn't just didn't fucking happen. Okay. Let's see. I would love to like find a developer this, for this game and just kind of like talk to them about it. just like, hey, we beat your game on the PlayStation. Uh, and <laughs> like, okay. Hey, so here's uh, the thing. Here's my question. Yeah. My question is, hey, whose idea was the shit joke? That that would be that would be what you would want to ask, I'm sure. I it's a top top ten top number one ten. Um, <laughs> so like here here's what I would want to do going into that because here's the thing. I respect the hell out of basically anybody who gets into game development. Developing games is fucking hard, whether the game ends up good or whether the game ends up bad. I recognize that. I respect that. So just like, just like straight from the beginning, thank you for your hard work. I appreciate everything you do. Also, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, they have to know. They have to know why we would be like, hey, what the fuck? Also, what the fuck? Additionally. Also, shit. Additionally, shit joke? <laughs> the, the only people ever to acknowledge that Hellboy shits. Legit. But we, like, I hate to say it. I hate to be the one to point it out. I hate to be that guy, but... To their credit, <laughs> they also acknowledge that to he their washes credit. his hands after using the bathroom. <laughs> You're locked in the area. <laughs> You're locked in... <laughs> you can't leave until you wash your hands. <laughs> I wonder if anybody quit the game because they couldn't figure it out. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> all right do we want to is there uh, any more interesting lore tidbits or do you want to go ahead and call it a stream there's there's a few but i think it's just like the guy complimenting the person who wrote the guide also i don't think that there's extras uh, oh nope there are no extras to this not at all just something about the music book glitch which thankfully we didn't oh get. god which i guess Thank the music book I guess the music book glitch is like a PC thing, then, if this guide seems to be built off the back of the PC version. Yeah. So maybe yeah, so that was something they managed to fix in the PS1 version. Which, I mean, okay. thanks? Alright. So that's gonna be it, then. I want to thank everybody for coming by the stream. I hope you all had a good time. Yay. I know I did. I'd like to thank Molly for joining me for this. Um, thank you, Molly. It's been great having you on for Hellboy games. I'm gonna have to find some other excuse to bring you on at some point. I'll find at some point. I'll find some game that is our our combined aesthetic. I'm sure. In fact, let me. Of course. Let me see. There's one that I can uh, think of. And uh, Gage, I have. I have to take a second to thank you for indulging me in my shenanigans because, I. It, who? Who would have? If I... not my friend Gage, who is also interested in the Hellboys and also interested in the video games. And also I need help to get recorded footage of this one gag because I keep telling it to people and I sound <laughs> crazy and now there's footage of it and I don't sound crazy anymore! Well, you maybe still sound a little <laughs> crazy, but... <laughs> um, Look, so... everyone! Hellboy shitting! Ha <laughs> ha! So I'm gonna check one thing here real uh -huh. quick. Oh, I misspelled that, no wonder. Mm. Okay, let's see here.
Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Do the. Mm -hmm. Go on. Oh, yes. Interesting. Tell me more. Hey, hon, what's up? What you looking for? The medicine. Oh. Where did you last take it? So let's see here. Speaking of losing things, today I cannot find my Hellboy sweatshirt. C'est tragique. So I'm gonna see if I if I can maybe get our hand my hands on this. How do you feel about Legacy of Cain? I I hold on. I have to have a refresher. I swear to god, this sounds familiar. Legacy of Cain. Oh, it is that! The fucking vampire guy. Yeah. Okay, never played it myself, but it I see, see what you mean in um like atmosphere. Because this does kind of This does kind of look like that. Like uh what we just enjoyed. And mm -hmm. uh, this also does kind of make me think of PS3 Hellboy game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm going to look into that because apparently copies of that are pretty spency, but maybe uh, maybe we can work something out. So uh, otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Uh, upcoming streams tomorrow, I'm going to have friends of the stream Audrey and Beyond. on. We're going to be doing uh, the Monster High game for the Wii U. <laughs> Monst Monster High. Yeah. You know, it was it was that line of like dolls that were based on like classic monsters, and they had like movies and stuff. Oh my God! Why was why was I thinking of Monster Inc? Jesus Christ! I don't know, Monster U. <laughs> <laughs> um, monster but, School Universe. <laughs> but we're gonna be playing we're gonna be playing that because I bought that for five dollars at a used game store, and I know that okay. my friends Audrey and B are. Uh, notable Monster High scholars. So it'll be fun to have them on. Um, but that's going to be tomorrow. Uh, next Wednesday will be Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Thursday will be Final Fantasy XIV. And next Friday, Natalie will be back on for some more Oblivion. Hell uh, yeah. If you want to keep up with the stream, you can subscribe here on Twitch. We have special emotes at tiers 1, 2, and 3. You can follow me on Twitter at Sane underscore Intolerant or on YouTube at YouTube.com slash Sane Intolerant. Art for the stream, Acid Shark, was done by Cosmindart on Twitter. That's C-O-S-M-I-N-D-A-R-T. Um, the Art of Molly was done by Molly. Uh, where can people find you? People can find me on Twitter at Skullduggo. And that's spelled S-K-U-L-D-U-G-G-O. And with that, we're out. Thank you for coming by. I'll see you next time on the Shark Stream. Same Shark Time, same Shark Channel. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah.